Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching Top 10's Net, and in the video today, the top 10 freaky fish that may stab, slice, or spear you. It's well known that fish can bite, but the ability of certain fish species to defensively or aggressively incapacitate humans, predators, and their prey through venom, electricity, and sometimes random stabbings is certainly unsettling. Stonefish, lionfish, stargazers, and needlefish are but a sampling of fish that may slice, stab, or otherwise disable you through some of the most remarkable examples of natural weaponry that mimic scalpels, hypodermic needles, and lances. In this video, we learn about the most unsettling ways well-armed fish might be out to get you in certain cases, or at least how they may harm you if you're not careful to stay out of their way. Number 10. Stonefish – A Rocky Risk one without reasonable friendliness might be called a cold fish, but being called a stonefish might be a worse insult. Stonefish resemble craggy, submerged rocks and possess piercing spines that inject deadly venom into anything or anyone stepping upon them. Since stonefish resemble rocks, one need not be careless to step on the stonefish. Just walking in the wrong place at the wrong time will do it. Stonefish possess deadly spines to protect them from a predatory attack, but are camouflaged to such a great level that humans do not get a fair chance to avoid stepping on the stonefish. Native to the coastal zones of the Indo-Pacific, stonefish have 13 razor-like spines concealed under ordinary-looking dorsal projections that match the rest of the animal's body-wide camouflage. The stonefish's dorsal spines act like hypodermic needles, injecting venom that flows from ducts, strategically placed to deliver maximum envenomation. The unnatural-looking hollow spines have evolved a perfect sharpened form to ensure tissue penetration and work in unison to give a disabling and potentially lethal dose to any victim coming into contact with the fish's dorsal region. Fortunately, antivenom formulas are not only available but are widely produced and frequently administered due to the pervasive risk of contact with a stonefish in warm water regions. Stonefish may weigh up to 5 pounds and exceed 1.3 feet in length. Five species of stonefish are currently known to science. Number 9. Nasty Nasty Needlefish Needlefish act like living lances and interact through an accidental approach in their deadly interactions with humans. Native to oceans worldwide with a length of over a meter, depending on the species, needlefish are consumers of smaller fish, cephalopod mollusks, and crustaceans. While needlefish do not purposefully attack humans, their long, slender, and bone-reinforced beaks and rapid swimming speed have resulted in fatalities and serious and sometimes horrific injuries. Reaching a potential length of over three feet depending on the species, needlefish have a disturbing habit of launching themselves out of the shallow water they inhabit whenever disturbed, often by lights or sound. Speeds of up to 34 miles per hour have been reached by these animals. Deaths have resulted from penetration of the human brain through the eye socket and stabbing through the heart. The phenomenon has been identified as a subject of medical interest and concern in an article by the European Association for Craniomaxillofacial Surgery describing the case of a nasal cavity penetration by needlefish jaws, where the injuries and penetration were far more extensive than the superficial appearance indicated. Surgical removal of the embedded needlefish jaws, which had broken off, was actually required. Number 8. Stargazers Named to suggest a life as ocean-going astronomers, certain stargazers are armed and defended to the point of redundancy. Their twin defense system has two ways of inflicting harm on humans or animals that are unlucky enough to cross their path. Lying on the bottom of the ocean in temperate and tropical zones worldwide, stargazers are grotesque in appearance with a mouthful of teeth there to capture their prey. Behind the opacals and above the pectoral fins are two sets of venomous spines which penetrate anything or anyone stepping on the stargazer. This is made more likely by its habit of burrowing into the sand in order to conceal itself from its prey. If the spines do not make their mark, Stargazers of the genus Astrocopus have a powerful but bizarre electrical organ that is made up of adapted eye muscles. This is able to deliver a potent electrical jolt to disable its victims. The rotation of the eye musculature serves to attract the interest of the prey and then delivers a jolt at the same time. After being stunned by such a glance, the prey can be more easily consumed. In other words, the saying, if looks could kill, comes true to a degree in this genus of stargazer. 
The other genus of electric stargazers, Uranoscopus, uses sonic waves through muscles to create electrical charges that can discourage predators from approaching or potentially disorientate their prey. Stargazers are thusly double equipped to defend against predators and uniquely adapted to capture unwary prey. Number 7. The Lunging Lionfish Lionfish look beautiful, but have the potential to inflict serious wounds coupled with a painful dose of venom through their massive array of spines that protrude from their back. Native to the South Pacific, Indian Ocean, and Red Sea, lionfish have become an ecologically disastrous invasive species, as well as a danger to humans off the east coast of the United States as well as the Caribbean. The lionfish is an active predator that uses its pectoral fins to gather small fish before engulfing them in its gaping mouth. However, without its spines, which it uses for defense, the lionfish would be an easy mark for higher level predators. Lionfish venom is highly neurotoxic and comes from a pair of grooves in the venom delivering spines, which are the ventral, anal, and dorsal spines. The protein-based venom contains a neuromuscular toxin and a neurotransmitter. This delivers a suite of nasty symptoms including pain, breathing problems, profuse sweating, and difficulty in moving. While fatalities are rare, great care is required to handle the lionfish or the sheaths surrounding the spines will be pressed down in a combination with a puncturing action delivering the venom into the wound. Due to their invulnerability to predators, voracious appetite, and high reproductive rate, a burgeoning population of lionfish deplete native species and are subject to extermination campaigns in order to save the coral reefs. Number 6. Surgeonfish Tangs or surgeonfish are something we want to consider because they're known for harming humans or other predators in unconventional ways. Beautiful and deceptively ordinary looking in their shape as fish, tangs are slim, relatively gentle, bony fish that have an actual biological version of a folding pocket knife that is built into the side of their body near the caudal fin. Surgeonfish can inflict deep wounds on those who are attacking their territory. Indeed, humans have to handle them very carefully or the spine will swing out and cause damage to the flesh. Such wounds may require urgent medical attention and are actually capable of causing lasting damage to tendons, muscles, and nerves. When not being used to defend the surgeon fish, the spines, which form the shape of a blade rather than a spine, will lie flat, only to spring out in response to disturbance. An incredible variety of body types and alien-looking forms are present among the ranks of blade-tailed fish species, including the aptly named unicorn fishes, which boast a bizarre forehead projection. Number 5. Venomous Sharks Venomous sharks might seem to be a bit too much, or at least a concept that should only exist in science fiction. But Jaws was not as well armed as his smaller cousins, the various species of spiny dogfish, some of which are not only armed with razor-sharp teeth, but also boast venomous spines. The spines will pierce the flesh of careless predators, protecting the small and ungainly-looking sharks from attacks by larger marine animals. The spiny dogfish species are among the most familiar sharks, and yet the possession of venomous defense systems is one of their lesser-known defining traits. Looking like miniature tiger sharks, spiny dogfish overcome their small size by hunting in canine-like packs, potentially numbering over several hundred strong. Through teamwork, the mini sharks overcome prey up to three times their own size, but remain vulnerable to the bites of larger predators. Their need for protection is made sure to be met by their possession of sharp venom-bearing spines located just in front of their dorsal fin, which makes for a nasty mouthful should a predator attempt to capture a dogfish as its next meal. In addition to dogfish, the bullhead sharks have venomous spines that make them a formidable and memorable target to predators. Despite their defenses, dogfish are vulnerable to humans who can potentially overfish them to startling declines, exacerbated in part by the fact that these sharks have some of the longest gestation periods among sharks, or any animal for that matter, reaching 24 months despite their small size. Number 4. Clown Loach the clown loach could be called the king of loaches, for this heavily built loach dwarfs many other loach species at up to 12 inches long, with a dorsally tail body shape and brilliantly yellow and black stripes that make it a prime love affair of the aquarium hobbyist. A native of Asian streams and wetlands, it is also a dangerous fish with nasty knife-like blades made of fishbone that swing out from just below the eye sockets. 
Clown loaches, like many spined, venomous, or otherwise spike-equipped fish, are gentle algae and shrimp eaters, using their soft mouths to forage in the substrate, but reacting in an instant to ensure their safety from potential aggressors. Sharpened and sprung in an instant, the blades can prevent a predatory strike to the loach's head from succeeding if deployed in time. The blades are anchored in fleshy webbing and curve backwards, sickle-like, and resemble thin, exceptionally sharp fangs protruding from below the loach's eyes. But the defense mechanism that evolved to cut into the mouth of fish and predatory birds can also lend a nasty gnash to a person who might be careless enough to touch this fish. Clown loaches grow quickly, and the larger the fish, the bigger the blade. Adding to the risk of injury is the fact that clown loaches have two blades, one on each eye socket, allowing them to inflict double damage simultaneously once they're activated. Number 3. The Wily Weaverfish Not restricted to exotic locations, but found even in the shallow waters around the British Isles, weaverfish are small, they look innocent, but they pack debilitating and potentially disabling venom in their dorsal fin spines and also the gill region spines. Measuring only 6 inches or less in length, the weaverfish conceals itself in the sand, lunging forward to capture passing prey. The light color of the weaverfish blends well with sand, while the scientific name, Viper alludes to the venomous characteristics of these bottom dwellers. The only body parts showing on a buried weaver fish may be its defensive spines and face, hiding the fish from prey, but increasing the risk that an unwitting threat, especially a human, may tread upon it. Methods of avoiding envenomation that have been suggested include walking in a shuffling pattern, which may scare off weaver fish and allow the bather to avoid treading on their spines. Weaver fish have also caused large numbers of swimmers to suffer the effects of venom injection, leading to a wide range of serious symptoms and potential complications. Massive swelling and temporary paralysis can last for up to two weeks after an injection. Also, there is the risk of gangrene and respiratory failure, which stems from infection that occurs in rare cases. Loss of pregnancy as the result of a sting has also been reported in a medical publication. Number 2. Three-Spined Stickleback The three-spined stickleback averages at about the size of a tadpole and resembles a minnow. Residing in shallow pools, weedy stream margins, lakes, and even shorelines, the three-spined stickleback is a tiddler that might be mistaken for a minnow by small children scooping it up with a net. And this is precisely the danger that is posed by this fish because it has sharp, bony spines protruding in rows of three from their backs and one sticking out sideways from each pelvic fin. Three-spined sticklebacks present a nasty surprise to predators, as well as humans, given that their spines flip outwards when the stickleback is provoked or alarmed. If a predator tries to attack a stickleback, it may not only get poked, it may get a mouthful of spines instead of an easy meal. Furthermore, the stickleback's body is lightly armored to afford further protection against consumption. A careless squeeze may cause injury from the spines directly, which could break off after being embedded in the flesh or give a painful cut. The two pelvic spines can be locked firmly into place in a highly mechanical switching motion. Infection, especially in organically polluted water, is another potential risk posed by stickleback stabbings. While small and not likely to be seriously dangerous, sticklebacks are an example that the most unassuming and small animals may pose a danger to humans and should be handled with due care. Furthermore, stickleback spines are not only sharp, they can lock into place once extended in order to protect against attack and inflict greater damage by puncture upon contact with a potential predator. Number 1. Bullhead Catfish Bullheads are a reason to watch your feet and gather the contents of your fishing net with great care, even in seemingly mundane locales such as a Canadian lake. Equipped with venomous spines, bullheads are small members of the catfish family that blend in perfectly with their muddy bottoms, but can deliver a potent and powerful sting should they be stepped on or just handled carelessly. The spines in their dorsal and pectoral fins act as hypodermic needles through which venom can be delivered, causing pain that exceeds that of a bee sting and potentially lasts over a week, with swelling and irritation to follow. Surprisingly, bullheads pose a threat to humans even at their youngest age, with centimeter-long fry being able to deliver a nasty sting. Touching a swarm of baby bullheads by putting one's hand into the group out of curiosity could lead to the delivery of multiple painful and venomous stings. The bullhead is a popular food fish despite having venomous spines, as eating the fish is not harmful, as long as one can get past that capture process without getting stabbed. 
So I really hope you enjoyed that video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for brand new videos every day of the week. Also I've got another channel, it's called Today I Found Out and on that channel we have content very much like this but we dive into one specific subject in more depth. You can check that out through the icon on the screen now. But if you're looking for something else to watch right now, why not check out another Top 10s video or indeed a Today I Found Out video over there on the right. And as always, thank you for watching.